hi guys welcome back to this youtube channel welcome to parenting as we grow oh my guys let me tell you something i recently actually for those who are new here, Parenting As We Grow is a series I started to talk about parenting whereby I tell you how I parent, I talk about parenting from my experience, those around me, when you tell me your experience in the comment section. And if you'd like to be a guest in the show, just tell me. You also love to come and argue with me. Put your critics, comments, and everything else you want to put in the comments. Guys, let me tell you something. And also don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, by the way. Let me tell you something, guys. So, three days ago, Schools are closed. I hope you all know that. Uh, my son starts singing a song that I'm not, I'm not impressed with. I'm not gonna say the name of the song because people are going to be judgy. Why don't you like the song? Yeah. No. Let me tell you something. My choice of music for my child is my responsibility. And I tend to be so keen on what they listen to. When they're older, they can listen to everything. But right now, there's no point of a small kid singing something that is wrong. Mind you, this song he had from these neighbors who think they live alone and then they blast music so loud that's what i don't like so my son is playing outside and then the neighbor blasts some music so definitely the child will learn the song if it's singing on a repeat and repeat also mind, be mindful of the people you invite or have in your house because they are the first line of some behaviors be mindful have ground rules if you're in this house this and this and this is a no so my child sings that song and then I'm like, no, I don't like the song. I explained to him, this song is not nice. Because right now, you are growing, you are meeting other people out there, but your brother is only two. I need to protect his childhood as much as I can because I protected you until you decided to learn that song. Then he understands that mommy doesn't like that song. Then this brought the question of today's topic. How many hours are you a parent? Well, for me, I failed for a few minutes when he was playing outside and that's when nowadays I can confidently and comfortably tell someone your music is your music alone. Keep it off. So anyway, um, my I I come to realize that most of these characters, in, when you raise your child, they have a specific character until they get to school. Let me tell you, they go to school and their mind shifts. Three reasons why. One, they interact with other children, which is not bad. Two, they make friends, and you don't know what friends are teaching them. And three, they're now moving out more. Like, they are now expanding their minds, and they are interacting with more people than they used to at home. Like, for me, my firstborn, I raised that child alone up to nine months. From nine months, I was so keen on what the child does, and that's why my child learned so many positive things that I'm proud of until he went to school, and he would sing, I'm like... Okay, sometimes I'm proud, sometimes I'm like, okay. But as a parent, how many times, how many hours a day, there are only 24 hours a day, are you a parent to this kid? Do you wait for this kid to come home and then you're like, oh my child, whatever you do in school is none of my business? Do you? Do you know how they make their friends? Do you know who is their friend in school? Do you know the kind of friend they keep? Do you know the interests they have? Do you know what the school teaches them and shows them? This is what I made a point to do. Guys, first of all, asking my child, how was your day? What is new? Learn. Try and communicate and see the things they learn so that you can tell them, this, I don't like. This, I like. Um, growing up, I was such a model child, like literally a model child. I never did anything wrong. Mind you, I wasn't a lover of music playing outside dangerously or doing anything wrong like i never wanted to offend my parents in any way and i feel like that molded me to be the person i am right now for example i'll give you a funny example one day a child takes a microphone in church and um, they say they have a song and on holding the microphone they sing a secular song i ask myself the child was confident enough to ask for a microphone, that should make me proud, to stand on the pulpit and start singing. But are you a parent 24 hours a day so that you can redirect this confidence into something positive? 
are you a parent 24 hours a day for you to be aware of what happens in your absence because let's be realistic you're raising one child with 10 personalities by that i mean 10 nannies that you gave your child to raise so in the first place even at home you having time for them is hard the reason why we turned out the way we turned out is because our parents were keen on a b c d that is happening in your life and they were keen on the friends you kept they were keen on the places you go to and let me tell you something to be honest with you where you live who you interact with where you take your child to school speaks a lot about your child i'm not gonna lie to you so for 24 hours a day the number of times you are a parent by making the choices for your child like call the teacher ask the teacher what friends does he keep how does he behave in school what interest does he keep in school because I, for one, would not want my child to love skate, but apparently that she told me he started loving. That's, a, that's something I can't control because in my head I'm telling myself, if a child gets a hobby, I shouldn't be controlling that. But I wouldn't love them to love skates anyway. But it's okay. But swimming, I would love them to be fishes in the water. That would be great. But now, here's what I do. I tend to be keen on what, like anything that happens, call the teacher, talk to the teacher. Pick your child from school. When you go to that school, try to know who their friends are. Ask them, who are your friends? Because most of these things, your kid learns from school. And let me tell you something you did not know about children. They love and trust their parents so much. Like, let me tell you, you are the first role model of your child. Try and maintain that by being a parent 24 hours a day. Show them the right path. If this is the kind of music I want you to listen, now don't let your friends teach you the music they listen to. Go teach them the music that you love to. Let them be the trendsetters, the leaders and not the followers. Show them that I am raising leaders and not followers. And like I always say, the first step is praying for them. Because you are just but a human being. They can only get protection from God. That's what I can say. And the, whatever you teach them, can you imagine that right now, I look at my sons and they're like, mommy everything, like I look at my five year old, no matter what he learns from anywhere, what anyone tells him, whatever I tell him is much more important. I have created games that I play with him so that I can build a relationship with him. Like for me, I play spelling game with him and we color together. Like I find things that I can, we can relate together so that when I sit him down and tell him I don't like this, they will remember that I was their friend, their best friend, so I can tell them something and they will trust me. But if you are absent, just know that one day someone will look at your child when they are older and then they'll be like, will you work with mm -mm. No. Why? Because they've seen your character, your parents did not let fail you, and they've seen how you grew up, they've seen how you were raised, but they look at your child and they see 10 personalities with another one that comes as a crowd called school. So, as a parent, are you a parent 24 hours a day? Or are you just a parent by the virtue that, oh, I gave birth to you, you're home. Yay. And I always say that, we always say that, don't pour from an empty cup, make yourself happy first. That I understand. And you can't give them all your time, but you can give them that your time when it matters when it comes to the selection they choose, the choices in life, the things they're doing. Do you even do homework with your kids? I think you come home so late and you never get to see their books at least. I came to realize that the reason why most of our kids are going a different direction is because we are less, we are, they are being, par they are getting a lot of parents at once because you are absent. So take your time and try to be a parent all through because I know motherhood and fatherhood is beautiful to you. I know how you feel that you have a child. Not that I don't know. I know. And I know the feeling. Believe you me, I know the feeling of having your child. Now, imagine now that child growing up to be the model citizen, the best husband or wife, the best mother or father, the best in their career, winning medals, traveling the world. Like imagine the life you dream you dream for them coming true because you are you are a model parent because you took care of them and because you were there with them. Guys, thank you so much for watching Parenting 
as we grow where we are i am parenting with you you are parenting with me in the comment section as we grow together and raise the best of the best children and until next time guys bye